Shalom Israel, Shalom. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem, Kadash. All power and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem, Kadash. Yahweh being the true name of the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Son, the Savior, the Deliverer of His people, the Israelites. Who the world everyone calls Jesus. Ba Hashem in the name, Raka Kadash, Spirit Holy, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders, a great millstone who teach one and rule well, who taught me this truth in its entirety. Peace and salutation to the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, the Akim, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwith listening, listening and learning, Shalom. We'll get right into it, most I willing. Uh, through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh Shimei Oshai. The, the title will come. But, uh, it's an article that came out on our Daily Mail. Right? Quick, quick edification. You know what I mean? Feed the sheep, feed the lambs. But uh, it's an article that came out on Daily Edification. Salakia so Daily Mail. On our Daily Mail. And, uh, yeah, the entertainment industry, man. Holly Weird. The music industry. Is uh, being brought low, man. Right? And uh, this article, we'll get right into it. Trying to close all these pop-ups. It says, uh, Dame, El Dame Helen Mirren warns actors may soon be homeless as a result of the pandemic. Plandemic, pandemic, Esau's pandemic, because they normally live wage packet to wage packet. This article came out uh, today. And uh, Dame Helen Mirren has warned that people in the theater industry could be facing homelessness as a result of the C-19 pandemic. The actress, 75, said many in the sector need financial support because they normally live wage packet to wage packet and their work has dried up. <clears throat> she told the PA News Agency that while theater will come back, the arts are really suffering during the pandemic and, th and theater workers need to be helped. The worry is simply people not being able to pay their rent, she said, adding that those who work in theater often live as many, pe as many, many people do from wage packet to wage packet. Yeah, the theater industry, Hollywood, entertainment, the music industry, being brought low, man. When those wage packets aren't there, which has been the case for the last year, it is very, very, very problematic. And I'm sure a lot of them are looking at homelessness. Yeah, you're in straits. She said the problem extends beyond actors and includes workers such as ushers, costume designers, cleaners, and stagehands. The whole industry, man. The whole industry. No matter what level. They have bills to pay. They have rent to pay. And they very often are not the kind of people who have been able to create a nice little security fund for themselves, she said. Dame Helen added that it is important to protect the theater industry as it is a very important part of our culture in the UK, Britain. People come to Britain to go to the theater. Very often that's why they come. She added. The government. Salakia. My phone's messed up. Salakia. The government is currently distributing. A 1.57 billion funding package. To the arts. Billion pounds. That is. 1.57 billion pounds. Funding package to the arts. And many theaters have received. Financial support. Theaters have also been able to make use of the furlough scheme for staff members. However, a number of arts organizations, including the Society of London, London Theatre and UK Theatre, have warned many freelancers who provide vital services to the sector have been excluded from support schemes. Dame Helen, who won an Oscar for her portrayal of the monarch in 06, 2006, 2006 film, The Queen, added that it has been amazing to see the inventiveness of young actors during the pandemic. So yeah. 
the entertainment industry, Hollywood, the music industry, it's all being brought low. Right? It's all being brought low. Some of these actors are facing are face are facing uh homelessness, man. Right? Get some precepts, man. Just a quick edification, you know what I mean? Most I's taking this place out, man. Simmy. Most I's taking this place out. A couple precepts, man. You know what I mean? Feed the sheep, head fight the lambs. Right. Let's go to uh Luke. Luke chapter 6, verse 25, and it reads, Woe unto you that are full, woe, destruction unto you, that are full, full, have everything, you know, the fatness of the earth, right? You get in that bag, you know what I mean? Full, right? For ye, for ye shall hunger. You're going to hunger, man. Right? Babylon is true. America the Great is true. This article is based in uh, uh, the UK, their, their film industry. But America the Great, Babylon the Great, same, they're feeling the same, the same, they're, they're feeling the same hunger pains, man. Hollywood's in the same, same boat. For ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, woe unto you that laugh now. Destruction unto you, right? That's been getting it, been laughing. Living deliciously, right? For ye shall mourn and weep, ye shall mourn and weep. When the Most High, when the Most High rises and begins to take this place out, which he started to do, the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai started to take this place out. We're, we're seeing, we're seeing, we're seeing what's going on, man. These people in, in high regard, the idols, the celebrities, right? Why are they being taken out, man? Being brought low, man. Isaiah 2, verse 11. And it reads, The lofty looks of man shall be humble. The high looks, right? You know, the haves, the rich. The elites, right? Hollywood, the entertainment industry, right? They're being humbled. And the hardiness of men shall be bowed down, right? They're being they're being bowed down, they're being brought low. And Yahweh by Shemyoshai alone shall be exalted in that day. Right? And that's and that's end time prophecy, man. Right? When Yahweh Shai cracks that sky, cracks that sky and comes back, everything's gonna be brought low, man. And Yahweh by Shemyoshai alone shall be exalted in that day. Let's get another precept. We'll close out with this one. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 4. And the doors, and it reads, And the doors shall be shut in the streets, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great. The doors are shut. You know, real estate, real, real estate, commercial retail, commercial real estate. Doors are all shut, right? For sale signs, for lease signs. Eviction notices, all shut. When the sound of the grinding is low, right? Work, the sound of work is low. There's no work out here. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, right? Looking for work, out there looking for work, trying to find work. Rising up at the, at the break of dawn, trying to find work. And all, here's the point, and all the daughters of music, right? Music, the entertainment industry, right? Hollywood, the music industry, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low, right? The entertainment, the sports industry, across the board, right? All brought low. The quality of music is garbage. Starve, art, artists are starving. Hollywood is, uh, uh, Hollywood is starving. Entertainment industry is starving. Athletes bugging out. <laughs> well, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. I pray edified. I don't want to run out Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing, right? Kwame Asherala, wa abad babal. Shalom.